Hey there, Lammies. I have something really fun that we're gonna do while we have this time on YouTube. I was cleaning out my closet and I found something really cool that I had when I was a kid that I thought I would share with you. These books, the Wildlife Fact Files, <laughs> were a thing in the 90s. I believe they were an infomercial. If you don't know what that is, it means someone comes on TV and gives you a phone number and you call it and you buy the thing. It's really funny. Um, but my grandma bought me these. She was very sweet to me. I was very close to her. And I found these and I thought it was so cool. I just had to share it with you guys. They have tons of fun facts all about animals. Don't worry, I know these are older, so I will be fact checking to make sure all of the facts are still relevant. <laughs> um, um, so I thought it'd be really cool to do an animal of the day. My grandma would love that I'm sharing these with you guys. So let's jump into it. Our first animal of the day is the bald eagle. The bald eagle is our country's national animal. This happened in 1782, where he was adopted as our national animal. And this means that the bald eagle is protected. You cannot hunt these birds. You cannot keep them as pets. They are meant to be free. Um, the only people that can really keep them are conservation places that take care of them if they're wounded or sick. They are so special that we keep them free here in the United States. The bald eagle used to be endangered. What does the word endangered mean? Well, endangered means that the whole species or the whole group of animals, so say we're talking about bald eagles, are in danger of not being here anymore or becoming extinct. Kind of like dinosaurs, how they don't live anymore. Um, and this is really sad when it happens to our modern day animals. But because of a lot of conservation efforts and people wanting to really take care of these birds, they're actually no longer considered an endangered species. So that's really, really good. Okay, so let's learn all about the bald eagle. The bald eagle was adopted as the national emblem of the United States in 1782. That was a really long time ago, you guys, before even Miss Nico was born. It now appears on every dollar bill. It is the country's most famous bird. So this guy is really, really special. Let's start by finding out all about the bald eagle's food and hunting. So what does he like to eat and how does he get it? Watching motionless from its high perch, the bald eagle spots a silvery, a silvery glimmer of a fish swimming close to the water surface, soaring effortlessly. He plucks the fish from the water in its strong talons and carries it off to eat. Sometimes the eagle dives underwater to catch fish. So the bald eagle really likes fish. I think that's his favorite food. He likes to dive in the water or kind of slide on top of it and grab fish with his talons. So the bald eagle really, really likes fish. But when he's all out of fish, when there's no fish swimming at the surface of the water, he'll kind of go for anything that's smaller than him, which could mean small mammals, little rodents, anything like that. So this guy is not a vegetarian like Miss Nika. He likes meat. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the bald eagle's habitat. <gasps> you guys, that's a vocabulary word. Do you guys remember what the word habitat means? Hmm. I really hope you guys said it's where an animal lives. A habitat is the different areas that different animals live. For an eagle, that is kind of the foresty area. The bald eagle makes its home along the coastal areas, marshes, and riverbanks, where it has the best chance of catching fish. Its main diet. The eagle is frequently found in pine forests. A lot of them live in Alaska, but the bald eagle can pretty much live anywhere in North America where there's water. We actually have areas where we live where you can go and see bald eagles flying around. They're not that far from home. They're good camping areas. All right, and now we have some fun facts. Did you know? From a distance, the bald eagle's white head appears completely featherless, hence its name. So the reason he got the name bald eagle is because from far away, his white feathers make him look like he has a bald head. That's how he got the name, the bald eagle. The adult eagle protects its family from stormy weather by forming a shelter with his outstretching wings. So, so eagles can hold out their really long wings and protect their babies from the rain. Bald eagles are a really cool bird because mommy and daddy bald eagles will stay together forever and take care of their young together. Sometimes birds work a little bit differently and one bird will leave and never come back. But bald eagles stay together. Um, so what will happen is they will work together to build a very big nest. It takes a really long time because they need a really sturdy nest to take care of them. And then the mommy eagle will lay at about two eggs. And then she and the dad will take turns sitting on them to keep them warm. And then the two bald eagles will raise the children together and work and make sure they get fed. The dad will feed the baby birds. 
And then as the baby birds get older, they'll start going off on their own and coming back to the nest until finally it's time for them to go and build their own nests. So bald eagles are really cool in that way, how they stay and work together as a team. Wasn't that so cool learning all about our country's most special bird? I thought it was really awesome. My favorite thing that I learned was that they stay together as a team forever. If you would like, email the lambs class email with three things you learned about the bald eagle. I would love to hear what you learned. Come back tomorrow and I'll have another animal of the day for you. I'll give you a little hint. He swims in the ocean. Hmm. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, lammies. Bye.